What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Ryan, with Laced Up Vapes. Um, if you haven't been here since my first channel, you've never seen me do a huge review. Actually, that's not true. The first video I posted on this thing was like a Tyson 8 review. So we've got something new in this mother, and, and you haven't seen it. You haven't heard of it. Maybe you have, but I highly doubt it. Um, can you read what it says? Probably not. It's called Vibrant. What does that even mean? Look at all these festive little fucking colors though woo, woo, woo. i really do like the colors but that, that, does that mean that the juice is going to taste good probably not so but let's hope so Ooh, i like that so it's called the world is your is it scarface or tony soprano not tony soprano whatever his name is that was a good movie al pacino and this mother so do i want to tell you every flavor yeah i guess i fucking have to right the flavors what do we have i guess i'm gonna do all of them maybe not though strasberry ice sounds great ice mint lush ice blueberry lemon Lemon, tropical punch, uh, blueberry mango, blue rasp, strawberry watermelon, strawberry banana, and red apple. I don't know. I kind of like the th like three of them out of that whole thing. But nonetheless, and nevertheless, this is what you're getting right now. And you're just going to have to kind of sit back and relax and see if this thing is worth a bag, snag, and a grab. I just can't promise you anything. But guys, it is what it is. What if these things are fucking great? And I just put you on a lick. So we're just going to kind of go down the lineup real quick. You just asked a very good question. Hey, little laced up, how do you have a whole display? Well, I went into a store and I ran out with it, uh, obviously. No, I didn't. I'm, I'm so tight with the owner right now. He was like, dude, just go out there and do what you got to do, baby. Just bring those things back in. We have a top piece. Why? Because I don't want to put my lips on what everyone else's lips have been on. Any Hoosers, we're starting off with that Settle Down Tropical Punch. Oh, do you want me to tell you? No dicky dicky, no adjustable airflow. I bet this thing doesn't have good skimps or rimps, but nonetheless, does that really matter at the end of the day? To me, yes. But look at the little saying back here, dude. The world is yours. Is it, dude? Is this even real life? We have no fucking idea. Tropical punch. Let's see how this goes. I mean, it's it's trying to get there. It's like the little like the little snail that could. He's trying to get across uh, the parking lot, but he's having a hard time. It's kind of what I'm getting with this. I don't dig it whatsoever, to be honest with you. Four on that is a four. I'm not going to cap in the wraps. If there's 10 vapes, I want to find five flavors that are great. And that means that it's, 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 it's working with something here. Blueberry lemon. Let's see where we're popping in this mother. That's, yes, that absolutely works for me right there. Ew. Getting a little sweet blueberry lemon right there. See, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I'll take a shitty one first and then end in a good one. Yeah. Oh, that's everything you wanted to be. Ew, you're getting like that little blue ras feel followed up by a little lemon kiss. L little, little zesty lemon on the back notes. That's great. If you're not a fan of like mid-tier sweetness, you're not going to like it. Toots, so ease up. Absolutely love that very much so. We can't spend every waking minute talking about it, but I'd give that a nice little 7.2. There's going to be a little bit of background noise because this car is going to get smoky like I'm, like I'm hot boxing it. Lush ice. What is that, a watermelon ice? Why don't they just say that? So here's the thing when it comes to lush ice and watermelon ice, I just taste the cotton in it. I don't know if you do, but they all kind of taste the same. Nothing that's making me uh, perk up and making my whiskers kind of jiggle, but settle down with that jiggling whiskers. What the fuck is that? I don't know if I'm digging that one. It's average. It's like a, it's like a low tier watermelon that's trying to be the little, the little engine that could. We're gonna give that a five. Settle down with that mint ice. Ooh, that kind of sounds good right now. Let's see what that does for us. See, it's like, it's like bad and then very good. Ooh, Jolly, where are you at? My little settle down caps fan. Shout out to the members as well. Joining that little piggy family. That is very icy. Actually, Jolly, you would love that toots. Ooh, if you're, if you're itching and scratching for a fiend to get that little menthol minty, it, it, it's not so much mint. I'm getting more of like a nice little settle down menthol on that. Oh, that's going to curb the urge for you. If you're searching for that tootsie. Raw, honestly, that draw is fucking beautiful. It's like a teeth to lung, mouth to lung type thing, but that's a beautiful pull. It doesn't even really need a dicky dicky. Score on that? Mmm. I like that highly so, actually. That's definitely for the menthol guys. Barcode if you think these things are capped, but they're not. Score, that's a solid seven. Nikki? I'm getting a Nikki buzz in this thing. Uh, Strasberry Ice. Ooh, I don't think I've ever heard of anything like that. Let's see what that's going to give us. Fuck yes, baby. Ooh, that, oh, that's, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's giving you exactly what it says. What is it, Strasberry? Yeah, they nailed that. That's beautiful. 
kind of, you know when I say like a dry sweetness, I know I say that very often and very often so. Straz is always kind of like a dry sweetness. It's a very bizarre thing to say, but I'm gonna say it because I want to. Yeah, you're getting that kind of like, like a uh, little, little dry Straz. What does that mean? A strawberry something or another? Strawberry, raspberry maybe? Yeah, actually that makes sense. Little berry in there. Am I getting ice? I'm getting a little bit of ice in there. Ice, I don't know, like a, like a four, and then the sweetness, I don't know, kind of dry, like a two. That's not too shabby. We're gonna give that a 6.9. Do you like my new score scale? Super honest and super legit. Blueberry mango? Ooh, 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 dang, I'm fucking shaking from all this Nikki. Dang, dude, that's not bad either. Mm-hmm. Definitely getting the mango. The mango is really perking up on this one. The mango is kind of carrying the show here. That's okay. Blueberry is kind of on the back notes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I find a really good brand? That's pretty smooth, dude. Blueberry is kind of there. It's not as sweet as I want it to be, but it is a settle down sweetie. Mango's kind of jumping ahead of it, but I'm not mad at that whatsoever. Not too bad. Ooh, actually, is that my favorite one? I don't know for certain. I'm going to give that guy a 7.9. Ooh, blue rats. That's just the staple for everything. Why? Why is that blue rash just so gosh darn popular? But let's see what this is gonna give us, yeah? No, not my favorite. I don't know, dude. Like, why is every blue ras for every company so different? This one's just kind of like in that mid-tier kind of like not too sweet, but sweetie enough to give you a blue ras feel. Not really my favorite. Yeah, I don't really dig that too much. That's a five. There's better blue razzes out there, but that's a blue razz nonetheless. Strawberry watermelon. Ooh, that sounds nice. Take, get me out of this cold weather and give me kind of like a summer feel. That sounds nice. Strawberry watermelon, toots. Ooh, yes. Again, these kind of like are in that kind of dry sweetness, but I'm not mad at that. Sometimes it's nice to shake it up a tad. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, these are like a different kind of sweetness. How do they come up with all different types of juices? Is it all the same juice and they just put a little boost of colada or no colada in that? That's not too shabby though, honestly. I think I think the majority of peeps would actually like to put their lips on that. It's not bad at all, actually. Very different. I kind of do like that this is kind of slim, like a credit card. You can put this in any type of tight slot or definitely this is definitely fanny packable. So, or if you, if you carry a little satchel or a little clutch, that'll fit in there perfectly. I'm gonna give that guy 7.7. .7. Strawberry banana, ooh, that sounds fucking great. It, it, it better be good because this is kind of a staple for me when it comes to disposables. Mm -hmm. Ooh, again, dry sweetness, how bizarre. How bizarre, but again, I'm not mad at it. Everyone kind of goes for that saturated sweetness kind of vapey thing. They kind of went in a different 180 direction, but it kind of works in a weird sense. Dang, that's not bad either. I don't know if these things are gonna break the eight slot, but again, that's pretty good, and they definitely nailed that banana. Strawberry's kind of there, but he's kind of shy. I don't know why. 8,000 puffs, is it really 8,000? How would I know? I'm gonna give that guy a 7.2. Red apple, yeah, mm, like a little settle down Granny Smith. No, this isn't a Granny Smith. Like a little Fiji apple. This is the last one, Toots. Hopefully this thing leaves off in a good note. Ooh, I saved the best for last. Ooh, I did not see that thing kicking it off right at the end. That is a very good red apple. Again, sweetness, dry. I'm not going to say it again. Well, I can't. There's no more vapes. That's actually ending this thing off very well. It's like reading a book and the last page leaves you with a good story. I like that highly. N natural apple, obviously it's not natural and it's definitely not good for you, but it's fucking tasting really good in this mother. The world is yours. Should these vapes be yours? It's definitely considerable for sure. You haven't heard of it. It's a new thing in the market, but honestly, after doing these, what did I like, like six out of these 10? That's not too bad. Believe it or not, I don't know. I feel like I should try them all again, but I'm definitely not. I'm buzzing like a motherfucking bee in this thing. I'm giving that guy 8.2. Did not see that happening whatsoever. All in all, this thing did not drop the ball, believe it or not. And usually when they have displays, I feel like it's just new devices trying to get their whiskers wet in the market. I didn't see that thing really being good, but overall as device, the pull is pretty fucking nice. It's a little tight, but I feel like people like things that are really tight. What the hell? Duckbill mouthpiece, is it teethable? It's teethable, but you'll definitely, if you fall off like a swing set, you're definitely gonna break all your teeth. I think overall as like, as a whole, I'm gonna give that whole experience an eight. Yeah, I know. I kind of didn't want to like them. I don't know because they're very colorful and I'm kind of over all these colorful vapes, but I'm feeling very colorful and prideful after trying these things. So the whole overall experience is gonna be an eight. Who, who, who does it like this? Who brings out displays from a fucking store, gets in his car and smokes 10 vapes at once? 
I wouldn't recommend that because I'm on a high with that nicotine buzz and it's probably 5% like everything, but I'm very happy I did. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. What else do you want from me? That's 10 vapes in one review and it's not more than hopefully 15 minutes. I gotta edit this shit. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for dropping in yet again for a crazy review just for you. Laced up vapes, come on, Tootsie, give me that backside. What? And we're out.